What up, what up? I've made it out to the uh, train at night market. Now, as usual, if you want to end up coming to this place, there'll be a link in the description of this video. You can click it, it'll open your Google Maps and bring you straight to here or show you how to get here. But there's a bunch of food, there's a bunch of clothes, there's a bunch of, there's so much cool stuff here. There's shoes here. Now, in one of my older videos, I've said, once you've been to one night market, you've been to them all, which is, which is semi-true, except for this one, because this is pretty cool. I've had a little bit of a walk around just to have a bit of a sus first. And now that I've done that, I'm ready to start up and show you around. So let's go have a look at some of these cars first. We'll get some to eat, then we'll get to, uh, I'll probably maybe see if I can get myself a new shirt or two and then we'll bounce but first of all nothing too crazy here I mean we've got it's about four million of those back home but but there's old Land Rover look at this thing old Chevy Browns hell yeah I mean that's standard standard but look at this bro holy shit I can pretty basic on the inside but fucking hell which was a bit better, a bit better lot, but oh well, we can't win them all, I suppose. But there's, there's a few more, so I'll take it up and I'll show you. Hang on, you can't really see what's, you, you can kind of see what's going on here, but they've got a cover over it, but look at that, bro. How low it is. I wish they could take that cover off, bro. What the fuck? Working all stuff in there. There's a thing over there that says Rod's Motor Garage. I'm assuming, assuming that like there's more cars parked in there, but it's all closed up, so I don't know. So this one as well, look. These are just everywhere, bro. Fucking shadows in the way. There's like a little shell in it. Look at this one. There's another old school car. It's like, you can't really see it. There's another old school one parked up in there. There's an old shell here that they, um, they might be working on or something. Look at that. And then there's even more it's down here. We'll have a look at that and then I'll go over to the food section, clothes section. Look at this moon eyes. We've got some like cool like old, like old school like car stuff in there. I can see like old steering wheels, that sort of thing. I'll go in there, but the, the music's the music's gonna get me done, so I'm I can't. Got a little cafe there, moon cafe. There we go, fucking. Now that music will get me done for sure. But there's a couple more cars up here. Again, we'll have a look at those. And then uh, I'm pretty hungry, so we'll go get uh, a few bites to eat. I'll show you around. Oh. These, they they, oh, right, they're just left here, bro. I mean, they look cool. I wish they would actually be working or something. It's a little hatch here. No, Hasn't see. moved in a while. That front left tire is flat as fuck. Well, damn, the GoPro is so bad in low fucking like low lighting. Mm -hmm. Terrible. Oh, DJ. Something crazy in there. Got a bunch of clothes shops, shop called Stoner, which I can only have one guess as to what they do in there, bro. Let's get a little bit of food. I've seen there's so many like, instead of just like little stores with just little bites to eat, like a lot of the night markets have, this one's like a bunch of like little restaurants and that sort of thing. But I did see a little stand up here that was selling just, just crispy pork. So I want to go have a little bit of that and uh, maybe something else after, but uh, have a walk around. I just want to get something to eat for now. And this crispy pork up here looked pretty freaking good when I walked past it before. So we'll, we'll have a look. Here it is, right here, look. Ooh. Bro, I don't know how to do this. Hello, how are you? Hello. Um, crispy pork with Thai seafood sauce and sweet sauce. Uh, I think that'll do for me. This one, just the crispy pork with the Thai seafood sauce. Sauce, yeah, that's fine, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one. This one, you can have 70, 100, 200. Uh, how much is this one? This one. Yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Look well, how good that looks, bro. <laughs> Look at the crackling on points, brother. Oops, sorry. There you go. Okay, how much? Is it? Okay, perfect. There we go. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice night. You too. Alright, let's try this out. 100 baht for I missed the grammage, but I've had this green seafood sauce before and I know it's good, so. But not with pork. Oh. Mmm. Mm hmm. 
crispy pork with the sauce, man. Mmm. Mm hmm. I'm gonna go find someone to eat this and then we'll go for a walk through the, the middle here. Because if you look here, look at this. Oh, sorry. Food everywhere. Plus, there's like a bunch of like little stores in there. So, we'll go for a walk through there and see what we can uh, see what we can find, eh? But I just want somewhere sort of quiet to eat this. Or I'm not in everybody's way. This will do over here. All right, finish my crispy pork. That was bloody lovely. That seafood sauce is actually really good. But either way, let's go through here. Some of the smaller stores, see if we can get like a little a little bite to eat or something. Like because they've got some skewers or something, so we'll have a look. But there's so many options here. Oh. The corn action. Is it corn in the potato? I think it was, bro. <laughs> This one's good. There's, there's so many options here. Usually, in like the smaller night markets, like I said, a lot of the stuff's the same as no matter where you go. But this one's got a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, hang on, I'm gonna get, I've got to have a couple of these. I can't pass these up. Here's my bloody favourite. Hang on. And they're the barbecue ones, too. Bloody crap. This is one of the stupidest. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. This one is 10 baht each, so I'll just grab a couple of these because I. Usually I'll get these ones as well and these, but they're all really good. They're my favorite though. But I wanted to keep a little bit of room to, to try some other things. This place does some corn dogs. Might have to try this one out after. But I'll see what else is here first and then if I can't find anything I like, I'll come back to that. All right, I've got my little mushies and bacon. Now we'll move along. Now I'll let these cool down. I'll see what else we can find while we're here. But there is a lot of stuff here, like way more than just like your regular, your regular sort of night market. I mean, look at that. Oh, the, oh. the aromas of that, that's not really sweet, like in a good way. More stuff on a skewer, more meats. Oh, bro. Australian marble beef, look at that. Bro. I'm, I'm doing it. Doing it. $1.99 baht for that. Bit on the expensive side because it's bloody Australian marble beef loin, mate. Here's your size Australian marble beef loin cute. Oh, they look pretty cute, not gonna lie. Fit them in cube. Size small, medium, large. I just want the small, that'll do. Too empty, but if you stick around and wait for the one buck change, you're a loser. Just between me and you. No, no, no. Ain't no way I'm taking, <laughs> taking that one butt change. Anyway, we'll go for a little bit of a walk and we'll come back, let them cook. Look at this, some seafood there. More seafood. More meat on a stick. Oh, far out. That one. It's like more crispy pork. Probably better than unlocked this. More seafood. Seafood galore at this one. Oh, we've made it to the end. Oh, oh, oh no, I lost my mushies. Oh no, they, they fell off the stick. But anyway, let's eat these while we're waiting for the beef. No idea what that sauce is, but it's so good. It's almost like a, it's definitely spicy, but it's like a spicy barbecue kind of sauce. I don't know how to explain it. Spicy is definitely correct, but the other taste, I, I, I don't know, it's bloody good though. Oh, can't go wrong with those things, honestly. I get them every time I see them, I pretty much I get a couple of them. Especially when they got those, like the, the ones I had yesterday, if you watched my other video where I was at the, uh, at the boxing, they didn't do the same like barbecue and lather it with like the, with the spicy sauce. They still had some spicy sauce there, but it was more like that seafood sauce I had with the, um, with the pork just then. But I'm so glad, like, when I, not long after I first got to Thailand, I ended up trying those mushrooms, and bro, I'm so glad I did. I'm so glad I did. Because usually I'd see like the mushrooms like that and be like, no, maybe I won't like it, but I forced myself to try something I hadn't tried before. I, I loved them, so now I get them all the time. So now we'll go back, we'll check on these beef cubes. Thank you very much. The only downside to getting the food in there is that there's, like, from those little stores, there's nowhere to sit, so you've got to come out here and find a, a spot to stand like plenty of the other places in there like have the have their tables that you can sit down at like little restaurants but a lot of those little stands in there that is just that just little stands but let's try this this wagyu cubes oh fuck off 
Wow. Brother, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down for this. I'm gonna enjoy these. Oh, oh fuck the carrot. Instant, in, bro. Instantly. Wow. Wow. Mate, the very second you bite into these, it just explodes in your mouth with juices, bro, in a, in a, in a good way. Hey, pause, hang on a sec. What did I just say? You know what I mean. <laughs> oh, man. That is some juicy beef, bro. Wow. It's like 200 bucks for like, what was it, like six, six, seven, maybe eight cubes. And I remember when I was in Indonesia, I went to that uh, Korean barbecue place and um, you, you paid the price, but it was all you can eat and they had these there as well. And I, I smashed quite a few of them. Mmm. These are too good. These are so good. I can't get over how like juicy these are. It's just crazy. But the shit, as soon as you bite it, it is a flavor sensation. Unfortunately, it's the last bit. The fuck up, oh bro. This has been my favorite so far. That, that last piece there was like extra fatty or something because that was oh, <laughs> that was so good. All right, let's see what else we can find. There's even more like little restaurants. Like I was just over this side, but even over here, you've got like, each little individual restaurants that you can go to. But we're gonna go down here. Let me squeeze my way through, I'm trying to stay out of people's way. But we're gonna go back down here and go down the other aisle, have a look at some food, and then we'll go look at some clothes, and then I'm bouncing. More seafood, bro. If you want seafood, man, holy shit. You're not short of options here. That's this one. Yeah, we'll go down this one. I was just there. No, we'll go down, uh, we'll head down this aisle. See what we can get. Oh. It's like a like, dessert bread or something it looked like. It smelled like as well. What the fuck are they? Peanuts as well. Wow. Oh, yeah. He's a scorcher in here, bro. It is so hot. Got some chicken. More. Oh, look at that whole seafood thing. Not yet. Oh, well. Someone dropped their ciggies. I think it was an empty packet anyway. I'm not going to make a scene about it. Even more seafood, bro. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, even, well, I really, I really want to try one of these, but not right now. But I really want to try one before before I leave Thailand and get one of those at some markets or something. But it looks like it's looks like a full a full meal, not just you know a bite-sized snack. Caramel corn, cheesy corn, corn with butter, whipped cream corn, chocolate corn, oh, corn what the corn with butter and chocolate, mate. What the? F That's a new one. I don't know who thought it mixed corn and chocolate, but maybe they're onto something that I don't know about, you know? Just a bit of G bread. Actually, wouldn't mind it, wouldn't mind it. But I'll see if there's anything else. If not, I'm gonna, I'll go back and I'll get one of those corn dogs and then we'll go, go do some food shopping. All the different sorts of seafood things here. Oh, I don't know so many options you'd have you'd have to come here like 10 or 20 times before you even got a chance to try half the stuff that's here all right i'm getting kind of full so i'm just gonna have one of these corn dogs that's gonna do for the food but obviously if i see some more i'll show it on the camera i just can't eat everything unfortunately well, as much as i want to all right here we go with the corn dog there's a few different options obviously you can see just hot dog half mozzarella half hot dog full mozzarella then you've got a couple of different sort of this one cheetos as you can see this one's ramyong, ramyong chips. Uh, yeah, a couple of different sort of coatings, I suppose you could say. But then you can choose whether you want all cheese or sausage or half and half. This one at the end, they little crispy rice hot dog, crispy rice hot dog, so you get the point. All right, I've gone with the potato or mozzarella for me. A couple little examples here so you know what you're in for. This was my one here. This was the one I picked anyway. So I think it's like just chunks of potato on the outside. These ones are noodles, Cheetos, and crunchy rice. Looks like, bro, they look, they look like rice bubbles. That's not the cereal. Yeah, right. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's what it is. My one, I think, all cheese. You get that batter on there. <clears throat> See how professional it is. Look at this. Us, us, us. Okay. What an expert. Not the first time he's done it. Look at that. 
Yeah, that's one. We need potatoes. Ooh. Well, there we go. I'm gonna, there's a part of me that wishes I got just a regular corn dog, but I've got to try new things. And a corn dog with some potatoes on the outside is something I've never had, so Let's see how we go. I've got a bunch of sauces and stuff over here that I think they put with it, so. I'll take away, please. Take away, I would pack. Yeah, take away. That's yeah, fine. Pack it up. Um, let me see. I've got to choose the sauce. Sugar on top, Rick. Oh, that's spicy, please. Also, salt. Oh, yeah, that's yeah, fine. Yeah. I'll pack also. Hmm? I would pack also. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, okay, pack okay. it up. Yeah, sweet. You can choose three sauces. Three? Uh, I'll go chili and cheese. Delicious. And elder, that's fine, yeah. couple of sauce off so I'm getting more I'm gonna get takeaway might ride home and have it at home or something like that all right so I've got my corn dog all ready to go but I just spotted this and I, I gotta do it I'm, I'm in the mood I think I might go off vanilla and chocolate one right, a cup yeah. mix please yes just a it's a small one please I think this is, yeah, I think this is the stuffed potatoes. Honestly, I might have to do a part two. Like this, this train night market part two. Because uh, there's, so, there's so much good food here, so. It's definitely, it's definitely on the cards. I'm thinking I might do it, actually. Now I've seen this and a couple of other things that, like, I want to try, but I'm just, I'm full, man. I'm full. Oh, there we go. Thank you. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Thank you, you have it all good. No, all good, thank you. There we go, better half and half. Half choppy, half vanilla. Mm. Oh yeah, that's good. It's so hot, I thought ice cream would be great right now. So here we are. Mm. Mm. Amazing. All right. Let's go have a look through here. All done with the food, but there's still plenty of other, other stalls and stuff. We've got to look at this. Some clothes, that sort of thing. Let's see what we can buy on. Wouldn't mind. A, well, I went on two new shirts. Can't go wrong with a bit of ice cream, bro. Can't go wrong. Let's walk down here. See more stalls down here. See what we can find. Got shoes. Bunch of uh, ladies, kids' clothes. More ladies' clothes. The shorts have the H&M logo on it. Move so. <laughs> on. Rugs. Got a bunch of Jesus sandals over here, ladies' shoes, shorts, tops, more Jesus sandals. Got some jerseys up here. Got some singlets, some jorts. Oh, she won. Wow, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go back there. I like the look of them shorts. I'm just not really in the mood to bargain, to be honest with you, I mean. But I can't be bothered, like, fucking like, this much, this much. But when I'm in the mood, I'll hammer it. Like, <laughs> I'll be borderline rude. But right now, I just want to buy something and go. <laughs> I'm kind of tired and full. Right, I'm going to keep looking around, see if I can spot anything else that I want. And if I do, I'll get it. If not, I'll go back, get those shorts, go home, try this corn dog, and then uh, they're all done. Let's go down this one. Boom. Phone cases, got some jewelry over there. These, nah, bro, they're, all, they're all the same shirts as everywhere else. These ones, like these ones in particular. Hang on, what's around here? What's this? This looks colourful. Oh, it's got the bloody Charlie Brown on it. I'll skip that one, bro. <laughs> I'm moving on. More lady stuff, kid stuff. Long pants, short pants. Are these literally just like the H&M brand shorts here? I don't, I don't 
Or have they just put their logo as, as their own brand? What does H&M do that? Well, I don't even know. Someone, like, like I say a few times, the, it's, this is the internet and someone will surely tell me if I'm wrong. Happily tell me if I'm wrong. Wait, I've just spotted this up here. We're gonna go look at this. Holy shit. Couple of bags, bro. Look at this. Brother. Fuck all the boys are out there on their bikes as well. Fucking sick, bro. I'm so glad I spotted this. I didn't think there was any other cars left. I was doing a whole photo shoot of here right now. Look at it. I'm glad I spotted that. I see. Look at these, they're like bootleg uh, like jumpers and that. This is like a Home Depot logo on there, bro. That's actually pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. But if it wasn't two billion degrees, I'd, I'd think about getting one. But it just literally just take up room in my suitcase and I barely got any left. But wait, I mean, I can't go in here and buy absolutely everything. But if you're watching the video and you see some stuff you like, you know where to come and get it. Oh, it's just the Gucci bag. Oh, not too bad. But that would be the third the third bag that I have if I ended up getting that one. So, and again, I haven't got much room left in my suitcase. I'm, gonna have, I'm honestly going to have to chuck a few things out. Right, before I get completely lost, I'm going to go down here and have a look at this. Wait, was this it? Here it is, here. Oof. Oh, these are the shorts I was talking about. I might just get. I reckon they'll fit me now. Uh, I want to get them so bad, but I can't. I don't want to sit here and argue about prices, bro. And the music. Huh? Yeah, big size, huh? <laughs> Reckon they'll fit? Yeah, yeah, they'll, they'll, they'll be fine, okay. yeah. Okay, yeah. Do you have. Uh, 100? Alright, I'm never gonna argue with that. Do you, have, do you have yellow as well? Do you have yellow there? Yellow, yellow these ones? Yellow. Okay. Like one each, maybe one green, one yellow. Yeah, okay, they're good, yeah. So this one, okay. and this one. Two. Two, yeah. Two for 150, huh? 200. Okay, alright, you win. I can't be bothered. <laughs> Plus, that's, that's, that's right. Two pairs of shorts, 200, I can't, that's, that's already good. Alright, got a couple of pairs of shorts. Like I said, let's go around and see if we can get a see if we can get a shirt or something, and then I'm bouncing. Oh, obviously I'll eat the fucking corn dog for you, but maybe I'll have a couple of bites. But either way, shirt. That's the, that's the new focus. To be fair, I do need a new t-shirt rather than just a button up because I've got so many bloody button up t-shirts. These don't look that bad. Uh, right, we'll keep looking. We'll keep looking. They weren't that bad though. They weren't that bad. I'll get a pair of these, huh? Fucking grow up as if. <laughs> There's so many shops that have like, um, I think like the, the bootleg style tees, is, I think that's what they're called. Not well, these ones, look. They're actually pretty sick, I'm not gonna lie. Hey. Which I mean, I don't, I don't mind it, but it's hard to see one that I actually want to buy. But I'm not, I know lots of people do like them anyway, so if you're looking for them, then get in here. Temporary fucking tatters, more jewelry, more clothes. I've made up my mind as well. I'm 100% doing a part two for this one. I'm definitely coming back. Will I come back on my own? Will I come back with a friend or something? We're coming back. We're going to try more food at another point. Do a bit more shopping, that sort of thing. I'm definitely not leaving uh, this time without a uh, without a shirt. I'm getting a shirt this time, 100%. Some fake gooch. <laughs> That's actually pretty sick, but no, no damn well that's gonna be too small for me. Um, there's more jersey sports. I wish I was, wish I was somewhat into NBA, then I'd more be more inclined to buy one, but I'm not, you know. And there is, there is some nice button ups, but like I said before, it's, it's literally every shirt I've got is, is a since I've is, is a button up pretty much. So I want a couple of t-shirts, at least one for now. Look at these, these are temporary tattoos as well, but these are much more detailed than all the other ones that you see. Look at these. I'm assuming you stick them on or something? But usually when you see like the temporary tattoos, they, they look like temporary tattoos. Those ones actually look like almost bloody real. It's pretty decent. I missed this before, I was looking at that red car and the motorbikes there. Look at this van that they've turned into a bar, Brad, what's that? That's cool as fuck. Oh, more copyright music I'm out of here. You also get your nails on here if you want to. This is like, it's like a third or fourth nail place of walk past since I've been here. But either way, 
I spotted the shirt that I want, so hopefully I can get it in my size. And then uh, we can get out of here. But like, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely doing a, uh, a part two. I'm coming back, for sure coming back. More food, more other like, I might try one of those little restaurants or something, I don't know. All right, here we go, this is what I was thinking. Look at this one. Something nice and simple. <laughs> I don't mind that, that's kind of cool. But what's the size though? It feels like a good material too, but I just need to make sure I get like a like an extra large or something or a large because otherwise it'll, it'll just be too small for me. I mean, it looks like a fit now, but when I put that on, I guarantee my guts but he poked. <laughs> I'm bulging out the fucker. I wonder, I'm not sure. I need to talk to someone and see if that's the only size they have. Or you have this one, but large size, big size. The one size is it? Okay, I'm just gonna wing it and hope it fits. You know, that's probably not the right thing to do, but by how? How much is this one? 220. Okay, yeah, yeah. 220, ain't not bad. But if it doesn't fit, bro. I'm just gonna, I think it'll fit. I'll just do it, whatever. Whatever. All right, all done, got myself. Still gonna get the corner. I've got some shorts, which I wanted. Got this, uh, got another shirt, which I'll see if that fits once I get home. And uh, the only thing left to do is try out this corn dog and uh, come out here again in another video before I go, so. Oh, I'm glad I seen this. I have a quick little peep in here. Quick little peep. Look at the old blocks in there. And then, look at these, bro. That's sick. Oh. What a cool little spot, bro. That's sick. All right, I'm, gonna, I'm getting out of here. As I'm leaving now, I'm just realizing there's actually... A, I've only got to see about half of, uh, <laughs> of what was there. I thought I'd walk through all the, the clothes aisles and then that was it, but there's... Bro, that looks like there looks like there's a whole heap more over there. So I know I've said that about four times, but I've, <laughs> I'm definitely coming back. We're doing a part two, and I seen actually, I seen this car on the way in here. So I'm glad it's I'm glad it's parked up, so we can have a bit of a sneak peek at it. Look at this, bro. Boom. You can barely see it because again, GoPro sucks at low light. But look at that. Are you kidding? Take us for a spin, Brassy. I forgot to mention before as well. This place is marketplace. It's the train market or whatever, this opens at 5 p.m. and closes at 1 a.m. That's what it says on the uh, on the old Google Maps. Now, I'm not sure they're open just on weekends. Um, it's a Saturday now, so if they're only open on weekends, it looks like I'm gonna have to do part two tomorrow. Um, we'll wait till next week. All right, now, before we go, I gotta give this a crack. There is sauce in there, but I can't bother getting it out, so let's just try. Ooh. Yeah, hey, that's nice. Let me see if I can get a good cheese pull out of it, but I think it's cooled down too much for now. Let's see. Uh, it's cooled down too much, so I can't get a good fucking cheese pull out of it, which is fair enough. I did wait, you know, about 20 minutes. But it's just like, you know, obviously bits of potatoes, so it's like little chips, little fries on the outside. Good mozzarella in the middle. Mmm, this is good. But either way, that's going to do for part one of this video. Cheers for coming along and having a look. I'll catch you on part two. See ya. See ya.